Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome back to another episode of Down Pack Cooking. It's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. And it's 2020, baby. It's the start of a whole new decade. So happy New Year's to all my Jam Pack cookers are still rocking with me. And I hope you made it safely, just like I did. So check it out. I know everybody on their New Year's resolution, they on their, uh, we need to kick off some pounds, diet, and all that. But today, forget all that. It's cheat day. I got you. I'm doing some homemade enchiladas. An uh, enchilada casserole. We're not going to do it the traditional roll up and all that. You'll see. So stick around. This is Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat. Episode 21. Let's go, baby. All right, so what's up, good people? Happy New Year's, like I said. So check this out. We got right here in this bowl, we're gonna start out. We got some typical 80-20 ground beef. You know, it's got the fat content that we need to keep everything juicy. And we're gonna get some of these cut up. This is what we getting all creative at. This is where the twist come in. These are beef short ribs. Off the bone, we had them cut down. I got about a pound and a half. I really don't need that much. I'm gonna do four, cause all I need is a pound. All right, so this is the twist. This is what we got, beef short ribs. Boneless beef short ribs, we are gonna cure them up and uh, run them in our food processors. Our food processor so it'll get a good grind on it just like the 80-20 we got. We're not gonna uh, grind it all the way down to where it's just nothing, but we are gonna get a, get a good grind on it so we can incorporate it into these uh, enchiladas. We just putting it down the side so it won't be so hard on the food processor. Now these beef short ribs, to me, it got a lot more flavor. It's gonna add more flavor to the dish. This is a recipe that my mother always did, and this is the way she did it. So check it out. This is my twist on it though. She used the 80-20 ground beef. I'm using the, uh, I'm adding, this is my addition. Beef short ribs. We get them in the uh, food processor. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. That's it, we're gonna, look, we're gonna let that do its thing right quick cause I wanna get this meat grind down. Let's see, don't act the fool on me food processor. Just like that. Let's, Let's just check and see if we got the right consistency that we want. That's basically, if you come here, you can see this, look. You don't wanna go no, no more than that. We got about a pound of the 80-20 ground beef, and then we have a pound, and I'ma call it, this a little bit more, I'm gonna say 70-30 on this, on the short rib, because it do have a little bit more of the fat content in it. So let's get this all mixed in the bowl together. Beef short ribs are gonna add that richness and the more flavor, more fat, and it's just gonna be all, you'll see, watch this. So let's get some seasoning into this. Now this is for enchilada, so we're gonna go more of a southwest. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of cumin, tablespoon of SPG, tablespoon of chili powder, and this is optional, that's about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a teaspoon of Mexican oregano. Don't forget, you know it was coming, baby. It's 2020, www.bigsmokiesbbq.com for your magic dust. We go in there with a tablespoon of your magic dust. Now it's only a certain uh, free that's able to do that. If you're doing it, let me tell you right now, I appreciate you, Mr. Money, I appreciate you for rocking out with the jam pack cookers. You wanna take your hands, it's a good clean glove, and give it a mix. Get everything mixed up. You don't wanna overwork the meat. You don't want it to be tough, you want it to be juicy. Delicioso, baby. There it is, boom. 80-20, beef short ribs, marinated. All right, on the next step, what we gonna do is, Get some of our tortillas toasted up. We're gonna put a toast on it because it adds an extra depth of flavor. It's gonna give you a little bit more of that crispification on this, uh, on these tortillas. Now just watch, you don't have to believe me. You can throw them in there just like this, it works. But this right here is gonna make it more pliable, the crispification on these things, baby. So I got about a teaspoon of oil in this pan. We're gonna get down a tortilla, just like that. One minute on each side. Maybe two, one and a half, two. Just like that, there it is. We toasting up about this the last tortilla again, toasted up. Quarter cup of oil, cooking oil. Use your favorite oil. That's vegetable oil. So to that oil, let's see, let's cut it down a little bit because we have to get real quick some veggies chopped up. We're gonna do a bell pepper and one onion diced. Let 
Make sure everything is about uniform. And to that, I want to add about one tablespoon of SPG, one tablespoon of cumin. And we want to saute these veggies down. We're not trying to get them well done. We just want to get them translucent. So, to that we added about two whole cloves of minced garlic. We want to get our meat in. So, we got about three pounds of meat. As you know, we did 80-20 ground beef and we did beef short ribs. 70-30 is what I would call it. We added our meat in, we're gonna salt it, we're gonna brown our meat right here in the same same pan. So check this out, take a look at this. So this is how this ground meat, it smells delicioso, baby. It's got the ground beef with the short ribs cooked down, peppers, onions, garlic. This is the good stuff. You see all that, that, that browning at the bottom of the pan right there? That's, you can call it the sticky bits or whatever you want to call it, but it's the good stuff. So now that we got all this, the sticky goodness at the bottom of this pan, we're going to deglaze. Deglaze is basically taking a liquid or some type of anything of your choice, water, in this case, cerveza, any Mexican beer. And we're going to deglaze the bottom of the pan. We want this liquid, this moisture to go around so we can mop up all the bottom sticky bits because that's flavor. You want to leave none of that flavor at the bottom of that pan. We want all this to be incorporated in our enchiladas. All right, so I'm going to call that about a quarter cup of beer. Without the name brand, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you have seen it or you have not seen it, but this is a Mexican rice, all right? Fast cooked Mexican rice. These people ain't paying me enough to tell you who it's by. Basically, it's got bell peppers, dry bell peppers and onions and uh, all type of Southwest seasonings that's gonna uh, incorporate into this and make this very delicious. But we want the rice, the rice don't, you need this, this liquid, that's another reason why you need that liquid, because this rice gonna eat up a lot of it, all right? So let's get this packet, one package of the Mexican rice in. This is one can of Rotel and one can of pinto beans going in the mixture. About a quarter cup or half a cup of Bacante sauce. This is the good stuff, man. This is cheat day. This is cheat day at the top of the year. <laughs> Chef Ray, I got you, baby. Mr. Money got you. So don't forget you got that rice in there, right? So we all know the rice is gonna absorb the liquid that we have in our pan. The reason you don't see me adding a lot of salt and just going in with heavy on the season now because we wanna wait to the end and make sure everything is, we'll taste it toward the end and make sure everything, cause you always can add salt, but you can't take it out, baby. So now we're going in with a 10 ounce can of enchiladas, green, the green kind, enchilada sauce. Fill that same can right back up with aqua and pour it in there. So that's 10 ounces of aqua, a little bit over a, cake, a cup, and give it a mix. What we want to do is bring this to a boil and cut it, cut it down to a simmer, and it's going to simmer for about 8 to 10 minutes. And we're going to stir it occasionally. But just because we like it a little bit more spicy, I'm going to go ahead and add in about another half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. But this here, cumin. We want to add in another teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of SPG, and a teaspoon of the magic dust. Now you want to simmer this for eight to 10 minutes without the lid. Protein pack, so it's kind of healthy. <laughs> it's healthy enough. So check this out. You see this, look at this, it's starting to get the bubbles, baby. It's starting to get the bubbles with the, with the, with the, Whew, this is gonna be delicioso. If you got New Year's resolution, go ahead and drop them down in the comment. But uh, I'm gonna share mine with you. I think my, my top of the year, my New Year's resolution, man, I, I'm not big on New Year's resolution because I like, I walk by faith, I keep moving. Steady pace, I just keep on marching. And uh, I just, you know, my, I feel like my steps have been ordered from the, uh, the most high. So check this out. 
I would have to say my New Year's resolution is to be more consistent. More consistent. I want to be more consistent. I want to make sure I'm getting these visuals out. I want to make sure I'm, um, I wish I had octopus legs. You know, I need to be in eight places at one time. But like I said, I walk by faith. It is what it is. I move one step at a time, but that is my New Year's resolution to be more consistent. You let me know what your New, your New Year's resolution is down in the comment box. Down below, you know, over there. Oh, and don't forget, man, I know we kind of been slacking on our podcast, but top of the year, top of the year, top of the year 2020, anchor.com. It's going to be on the screen right here. Go check us out. We got a podcast. All our jam pack cookies. We're going to be over there talking, chopping, chop, chopping it up. And we got merch coming soon. We right at about 750 subscribers right now. I want to say 710, but I see 1,000 already. You know, we, we in the starting stage. This is top of the year. So you... Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to go smash that like button because Chef Ray Mr. Money, he always turning up in the kitchen and doing what he do best. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend because we are giving away $500 cash. It's not a lot, but uh, who can't use a free 500 bucks, baby? We just trying to pay a light bill or water bill or, you know, some people, I don't know. You can do what you want to do with it. Take it to the mall, blow it on the kids. It'll be yours to spend and do what you want to do with it. 500 free bucks. At a thousand subscribers, we got you right over here from Jam Pack Cooking. Everything under that lava, that hot lava is happening. It's happening just how we want it to happen. No panicking, cracking to that. Look, when I say stir occasionally, you see that? Getting down there, baby. Then everything be A1 YOLO, okay? Keep on, keep on, keeping on. This is what we have. We have uh, ground beef, 80-20 ground beef with uh, short rib, beef short ribs ground down. Pinto beans, the seasoning that we put in, the, the rice, the onions, the peppers, and it smells delicioso. The more it sit, the better it get. One last thing at the end of this cook that we want to do. A free cubes of Velveeta. <laughs> Trust me on this. Velveeta cheese, all right? Four or five ounces. And that's going to start that ooey gooey process. Check this out. We go on a half pan, all right? First thing you want to do. Go ahead and get you some of this filling down on the bottom. That's gonna, you know what that's gonna do? That's gonna keep everything from sticking and burning down there. Then you come in with the tortillas. You know it wouldn't be jam-packed cooking if we didn't have the crispification, baby. We got tostadas. We going in with tostadas. Right after the tortillas, we got a layer of the tostadas, baby, for the crispification. Wanna give it a push? Let them crack just like that. Don't, 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 don't get alarmed. <laughs> Don't get alarmed, baby. Boom, we're going right back in with the filling. That's that layer. Fresh grated cheddar cheese. The cheddar make it better. More of the tortillas for that crispification. You need this crispification because if not, I mean, don't get me wrong, some people like it one note, all creamy and delicious, but over here we like just a little bit of crunch with the munch. Come back with a whole nother layer of the filling. Don't be stingy, get it in there. This is the rest of the Velveeta. What we want to do is, pieces of the ooey gooey Velveeta, baby. Create that, that bond that we looking for. 2020 is about greatness, baby. We creating organic relationships. <laughs> we creating organic relationships, baby, all 2020. Relationships are worth made way more than money. On top of that, of course, it ain't easy being cheesy, baby. The cheddar make it better. Stop playing. One more layer. We're going to do this just for the great people that love the crispification. Just so we make sure we got greatness. Top it off. This is the last one. Don't be stingy. We're going to come with the last layer of this. The narrow out. The narrow is my um, pooch. He smell, he smell the goodness right now. So he kind of going crazy. Come back with our last layer with the picante sauce. Perfecto. So right on top of that, the cheese, baby. You want to make sure you get that shredded cheese, this cheddar. Cut the cheddar, make it better. They going in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. The oven preheated to 375, and I'll bring you back when we got this magic, baby. It's me, Mr. Money Chef Ray. Enchiladas, casserole, right here on Jam Pack Cooking. Let's go, baby, to the oven. We gone. Yes, Lord, look at that. Welcome to Paradise Jam Pack Cookers. It's 2020, we made it. I mean, it's cheat day already. We've been in the gym working hard. We done knocked off some pounds. We looking good. 
you know, sexy is at an all time high. These things are even looking real sexy. You know, I'm looking real sexy. <laughs> we going in, let's listen. You want to get a sharp knife, all right? Make sure you're touching the bottom, but you don't want to go through the bottom. You don't want to go through the bottom. Letting all the juiciness and everything. Look at that. Look at that. That lets you know what it's going to be in there. Just from just going in there, you can see that rice is, that long grain rice is tender. That cheese is melty, that beef is there. You know what? This shouldn't go to waste. Come here. <laughs> now typically, you know you gotta let these cool off. If you let them cool off, they'll be a lot better. They'll be in a set, set up right, and won't none be getting in your way. Ooh wee. Look at that. Look at this, look at this. You got all that goodness and now you can see layer for layer. This is cheat day food, guys. We not doing this every day. We not doing this, cause I'm, uh, believe it or not, we all in the gym trying to get it off of us, but this is the good stuff. We whipped up some of these the good old delicious refried beans. Enchilada casserole with a pool of the homemade refried beans. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for them beans. We might even uh, drop a video on it, but <sighs> what can I say? The perfect bite. Right there. You see that? <laughs> we got the beans, the enchiladas, the jalapenos, sour cream, and tomatoes, baby. Come here. Come here. Thank you, God, and thank you for these enchiladas. You already know we appreciate you for watching. We love you for watching. Right now, we want you to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Because we always jamming and cooking right here on Jam Pack Cooking. Until next time, it's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Happy New Year's, baby. We just getting started. Peace and love. Money. Tell black bottles go.